పెట్టుబడుల ప్రవాహం కొనసాగుతూనే ఉంది ఇప్పటికే వేల పరిశ్రమలు తెలంగాణలో పెట్టుబడులు పెట్టి స్థానిక యువతకు పెద్ద ఎత్తున ఉపాధి అవకాశాలు కల్పిస్తున్నాయి తాజాగా అమర్ రాజా గ్రూప్ కూడా తెలంగాణలో పెట్టుబడులు పెట్టేందుకు ముందుకు వచ్చింది మహబూబ్ నగర్ జిల్లా దివిటిపల్లిలో విద్యుత్ వాహనాల బ్యాటరీల తయారీ యూనిట్ ను నెలకొల్పేందుకు అమర్ రాజా గ్రూప్ ప్రకటించింది ఈ మేరకు అమర్ రాజా సంస్థ తెలంగాణ ప్రభుత్వం మధ్య అవగాహన ఒప్పందం కుదిరింది మహబూబ్ నగర్ జిల్లా దివిటిపల్లిలో విద్యుత్ వాహనాల బ్యాటరీల తయారీ యూనిట్ ను నెలకొల్పనున్నట్లు అమర్ రాజా గ్రూప్ ప్రకటించింది ఈ మేరకు అమర్ రాజా సంస్థ తెలంగాణ ప్రభుత్వం మధ్య అవగాహన ఒప్పందం కుదిరింది రాష్ట్రంలో లిథియం అయాన్ గీగా ఫ్యాక్టరీ నెలకొల్పనుంది ఇక రాష్ట్రంలో తొమ్మిది వేల ఐదు వందల కోట్ల పెట్టుబడులు పెట్టడంతో పాటు నాలుగు వేల ఐదు వందల మందికి ఉపాధి అవకాశాలు కల్పించనున్నట్లు అమర్ రాజా గ్రూప్ ప్రకటించింది ఈ ఒప్పంద కార్యక్రమంలో ఐటీ పరిశ్రమల శాఖ మంత్రి కేటీఆర్ అమర్ రాజా గ్రూప్ డైరెక్టర్ గల్లా జయదేవ్ పాల్గొన్నారు ఈ సందర్భంగా మంత్రి కేటీఆర్ మాట్లాడారు రాష్ట్రంలో పెట్టుబడులు పెట్టనున్న అమర్ రాజా గ్రూప్ సంస్థకు మంత్రి కేటీఆర్ శుభాకాంక్షలు తెలిపారు but i think you're treading new path new ground you're breaking new ground so my compliments on this courageous decision on choosing to enter the lithium ion battery space not just to you as a chairman and managing director of amar raja but to the entire family of amar raja i thank you and i think they deserve a huge round of applause from my team to my principal secretary shri jayesh ranjan to vijayanand garu to vikram my director of director of electronics and uh, semiconductors shri sujay karampuri to narsimha reddy garu our uh, md of ts iic to the directors of uh, amar raja vishnu raju and others who are gathered here and to the family members of amar raja and also to the friends from media my compliments to you uh, j again because you know we've been making several efforts on the ess front but this is the biggest investment that government of telangana has been able to attract into the state of telangana and i am delighted that it is actually a home grown company based in hyderabad which is making this move and as jay pointed out while the company was founded um, 37 years is it 37 years ago while the corporate headquarters has always been hyderabad they have been primarily committed to chittur district because they actually believe in certain principles and certain values his father the founder of the company dr ramchandra naidu galla jay shared this many a times and even i know jay's mom as well in fact i worked with her in the erstwhile andhra pradesh assembly galla arunagaru who was back then the minister so i know know the family well i know i have known jay for a while they have always maintained one thing in fact whenever i asked jay dev to invest in telangana he had said you know i'll pick the right kind of investment let me not rush into this let me not do this because i know you you know me we are friends not not because of that but let me find something which is actually going to make sense business wise and also going to make create value in telangana i truly admire amar raja for one simple reason i know how much they have had to toil i know how much they have had to work hard to be able to make things work in a district like chittur to attract talent like vijay you know to tirupati you know vijay could be working anywhere in the world a person like vijay and again lot of other talented you know resources that currently work in chittur currently work in you know amar raja could be working anywhere but to actually stay committed to stay rooted to stay real in a competitive world and also build a brand that is truly global today is all kudos to the vision of the founder of your entire team and now with you as chairman and managing director and with young blood coming in the form of vikram and the rest of them so my compliments to you on building a world class brand in the form of amar raja truly kudos to you and the entire team the state of telangana as we all know has been a front runner in adopting sustainability and clean energy while we remain focused on making india self reliant today a very renowned brand and a global brand amar raja is setting up their own lithium ion cell manufacturing plant in a giga factory furthering the validation that the state has already achieved to our clean energy and electric mobility efforts with a investment a mammoth investment of 9500 crores this truly is a huge step forward in our efforts to ensure that the state becomes an important hub for mob- sustainable mobility in 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 india with a 16 
gigawatt hour lithium ion cell manufacturing output this truly is a huge step forward this is not only amar raja group's largest investment till date but it is also india's largest inv investment in advanced cell chemistry till date i think that is a huge huge step forward <laughs> selangana has been working diligently on developing essential infrastructure basic infrastructure like water electricity social infrastructure improving quality of living increasing per capita and social standards creating talented workforce and that is now allowing us to attract large scale investments in the new and emerging technologies such as sustainable mobility now we rank among the top states in our ability to attract extremely large size investments particularly in manufacturing with amar raja's lithium ion cell manufacturing plant in dibiti palli mehboob nagar district telangana becomes one of the large one of the very few regions in the world to host an advanced cell chemistry giga factory we are now confident that this project by amar raja will act as a catalyst and an anchor and has the potential to spur further development of a comprehensive ev and advanced cell chemistry ecosystem in telangana creating large scale manufacturing hub creating many direct and indirect jobs and with our progressive ev adoption policy plus our ability to provide 24 by 7 electricity we aim to become the most electrified state in mobility in india i am very very impressed with amar raja's vision of bringing high tech manufacturing to rural communities it takes guts it takes courage to make a statement that we will ensure that the rural areas the tier 2 towns also will develop on par with india's metros and globally in a in a globally competitive situation i'm very happy also to hear amar raja's commitment towards skilling local in fact provide strength to the local ecosystem speaks volumes of their commitment and i'm truly confident that their investment in mehboob nagar and dibiti palli will also provide lot of impetus to local industry will also ensure that the local youth will benefit immensely from this will benefit immensely from this really appreciate amar raja's foray like i said which is very much the need of the hour to make india technology and life sciences companies and it has already been recognized as one of the leading innovation hubs in the world going forward i'm very confident that telangana will also become an ideal destination for electronics ev and cell manufacturing once again i very happily welcome amar raja's plant in telangana we're very confident amar raja's potential in executing this project will result in many other ev ecosystem players also coming forward to telangana with to looking at uh, telangana with intent and i assure jay gala and the entire team of amar raja our all hearted and best support from the government in executing and operationalizing and scaling this project in a record time thank you very much jay telangana jay hind thank you so much sir for such succinct observations and uh, very encouraging words to support our initiatives here uh, at this moment of celebration i would like to express my sincere gratitude uh, to start with the honorable minister principal secretary sujay who has really been the anchor for our conversations asmaridigaru who has supported us with our